Hi, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a yearly planner on two A4 pages that can be folded into a planner file. So I've opened a default document with an A4 page, and all I'm going to do now is just change the orientation of this page. So I'm going to go up to Layout, and then across to Orientation, click on the drop down and select Landscape. Then all I'm going to do is just increase the zoom, increase the size. There we go. And the next thing I need to do is just decrease the size of these margins. As you can see in these rulers here, they're quite wide at the moment. We really want to maximize the page, the space on the page. So if I stay on the Layout tab and go over to Margins, click on the drop down, and go down to Narrow. And as you can see, the size of these margins have now reduced, so my cursor is much closer to the edge of my page. If you can't see these rulers, if you just go to View, and then make sure that rulers are checked, then you'll be able to see the rulers at the top and the side of your screen. Now I'm going to go to Insert. I'm going to go to Table, click on the drop down, go all the way down to Insert Table. Now I'm going to select six columns because there's six months in half the year and we're going to do this over two pages. And I'm going to select 32 rows and that will account for 31 days in the longest months and the title of the month. And then just select OK. Now as you can see from here, we haven't quite maximized the size of our page. So I'm going to select my table. I'm going to go up to Layout and then I'm going to go to height here and I'm going to change this to 0.55 centimeters and press enter. Now, as you can see, I've now got a second page. There's nothing on it, but it has produced a second page. So to prevent that from happening, and we want all of this detail on one page. I'm just going to go to my ruler at the side here, I'm going to hover my cursor between the white section and the gray section. You can see it just changes there into a double headed arrow. You just click on it and drag it down. Then you can see that that second page disappears and the whole of our content is on this page here. Now I'm also going to do that with the top one because I just want to increase the height of this row to input the names of the month. So I'm just going to select this row by clicking and dragging. And then I'm going to go up to height again and I'm going to change this to 0.7 and press enter. And then you can see we've got a slightly wider column at the top here. Now, when you see this cursor here, you can see it's just at the top of this cell, but we want all of our text across the top here to be in the center of each cell. So I'm just going to select all the cells. I'm going to make sure that I'm on this layout tab at the top here, then go along to this section here. You can see it's currently set to top left. I'm going to select align to center. And when I align to center and type, you can see my text is perfectly aligned to the center. Once I've entered the names of the month, I'm just gonna go down and just do all the numbering from one to 31. Once I've done that, I'm simply going to copy and paste all of these numbers. So I'm just going to select all of them. I'm going to select Command or Control C, or go to the Home tab and select this icon here, it says Copy. Then go to the next row along and either hit Command or Control V or if we go along to March, just go up and select Paste. And then I'm going to do that for each column. Now I know each month doesn't have 31 days, so all you need to do is just to go along the bottom of each month and just delete the days that aren't required, like this and then you have your basic calendar or your basic planner ready. So now we can duplicate this. So if I put my cursor at the bottom here, you can see my cursor's just at the bottom here. Press enter and you'll see you produce a second page. 
Now all I'm going to do is select this table here, click on it, select Command or Control C or the Copy tab up here, sorry the Copy icon here, go across to the next page and press Command or Control V or again go to Paste and then you'll paste a second table. Then you just need to go along and change the months and obviously the days along the bottom. Now we can just add a few design elements. So if we want to add colour to these top cells, I'm just going to select the title cells across the top. I'm going to go to Table Design and along to this icon here that says Shading. Click on the drop down, you can select from any colour here, or you can go to More Colours and you can use your colour wheel. Just move this cursor around and you can move this slider to make things lighter or darker. So I've already selected my chosen colour here, so if I just click on that, you can see now that that title changes. Now, you don't have to choose black for the text across here because actually it doesn't work that well for me. So if I go to the Home tab and then I go to the Font Colour here, click on the drop down and then again you can select from any colour. But if I just select white, you can see that just stands out a little bit more. We'll do exactly the same with this row here. Select it, go along to Shading and change that to that nice teal colour, then to the Home tab and select Font Colour. So now what you need to do, depending on the year that you want, because obviously you can use this for every single year, you just need to go in and put in all of the weekends and you can do that again with all of the shading. So if I just select, let's say January the 4th and 5th and then I go back up to Table Design and I go to Shading, I'm going to select a slightly lighter colour for my weekends and select this aqua colour here. Then all I need to do is just to count five days and then do exactly the same thing and just click on that shading button. Perfect. And as soon as you're happy with that and the entire layout, you can either print it off as it is, or you can save it as a Word document template or a PDF file. And I'll show you how to do both of those now. So go to File, and then you can either save as a template. So click on Save as Template. And then ensure that you are saving to your templates file. And that will mean when you open up your Word software, and you have a choice of your templates, it will be in that template, and I'll show you that in a second. Let's just put this to um, Yearly Planner. And then at the bottom here, you can say, see it says Microsoft Word Template, and then just click Save. We then go to Open a New Document. You can see here you've got Blank Document. If you go across to Templates and select More Templates, you can see your yearly planner appears here. And what that means is that when you create it, it will, it will create a completely new document. And when you save it, it won't destroy this one here. This one will always remain in your template. So you can save it and you can put lots of different events in your calendar. Then you can save it. It will ask you for a new name for your document and it will save it as that. But this will always remain in your templates. And if you want to save this as a PDF, go to File, click Save As. And then down the bottom here, click on that menu and go down to PDF. So make sure you don't save it to templates. I'm going to save mine to my desktop and then just click export. And then when I open that up in my desktop, you can see here is my annual planner. I've got the, both of those pages. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.